Hey YouTube universe, the question of the day is Humble TSNP still a buy at $1.31? Let me give you my quick answer right now and then I'm going to give you my justification. But is it still a buy at $1.31? i tell you what, pro wrestler Steve Austin can give you the answer to that. And you know what he would say, give me a hell yeah, yes it's still a buy. Let's go into this. But before I do that, I need you guys to do me a favor. Come on now, hit that doggone like, subscribe, and notification button. That'll really help out the channel. Also, be aware that I am not a financial advisor. I am not a stockbroker. I am a self-taught investor who just wants to share, really, a stock that I believe has great upside potential. I want to share that with you. So you can use this information as in entertainment or educational purposes. But if nothing else, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm expressing something that I definitely believe in. All right, so let's get to it. Is Humble still a buy at $1.31? We already know the answer. Yes, yes it is. And this is the reason why. First of all, Humble is a penny stock. And with penny stocks, you're gonna have, you're gonna have more risk of possibly losing your money. But also, you, you start looking at your risk reward. If a penny stock does take off, my goodness, look at the upside potential. This here, yes, is a penny stock with great exceptional potential on a lot of different scales. And let's take a look at some of those scales. First of all, digital banking is the future. This is going to be, this is shaping up to be a major player when it comes to digital banking. Not only within the United States, but also on a global scale global banking they're they're focused on global banking not only within this country but all over the you know, all over the world and when you look at the agreements that they have with over a hundred companies to introduce ETX ETX is their blockchain platform that they're going to use that over a hundred uh, countries are really signing up for that's amazing to see exactly what the who those countries are all you have to do is go to their website they have a list of all those countries on their website. The bottom line is Humble is on track to be a digital banking disruptor on a global scale. I believe that at $1.31, Humble is undervalued. You're going to wish two, three, four, five years from now, you're going to wish you bought Humble at $1.31. I am an owner of this company. I believe in this company. It went from being a speculative play for me to a play of more than likely a long-term buy and hold play. Back in the middle of January, I bought 2,000 shares at 17 cents. About a week ago, I bought, which is probably what, uh, around the 10th or 11th of February, 1,000 shares at $1.31 cents. My cost basis for 3,000 shares, 55 cents a share. And guess what, guys? I will continue to accumulate shares of this company because I believe in this company for the long run. And trust me, I've been telling family and friends about this company. I honestly, honestly believe that you need to get involved because of the upside potential. Also, what I want to do is also point out something that, uh, that I noticed within the charts. And another justification is why I feel that this here is, has so much great potential. Let's go to the All right, everyone. and take a look. Here's the chart for Humble Pay as of the close of the market on the 12th of February. As you can see, it closed at $1.30. It opened at $142 and it went down to $130. Don't let that scare you off. There's four things I want to point out when it comes to this chart that I think uh, really shows that this, this stock here is on a upward trend. Number one, if you look, this is a one month chart. Look at the price movement of this stock. It skyrocketed up. Anytime you have that in a stock, it is going to pull back. It has to. That's healthy for a stock. But also I want you to pay attention to this right here, this right here. This shows that the stock is consolidating. That is good. That is another support 
that this stock is going to need in order to move higher. So that there is consolidation. So the first thing is the price movement and consolidation. That's what we're experiencing right now. The other thing I wanted to point out is look at the volume. The average 10-day volume is over 124 million shares. Wow. That means volatility. Let me tell you, don't be scared and don't be afraid and, and frightened off when you hear that word volatility. Let me tell you what it means to me. Volatility means one thing to me. When I'm accumulating a stock, that tells me anytime there's down days like this, that's buying opportunities. It gives me a chance to accumulate more shares of that stock. That's number one. Number two, if I'm selling options for premiums, volatility means higher price premiums, more money for me. All right, so those are two things. We've still got two more to go over. We got the movement of the stock consolidation. That's number one. We've got the average volume. That's number two. Number three, guys, look at this. It's a penny stock with a market capitalization of $5.9 billion. You're not going to find many penny stocks with that type of capitalization. Imagine the upside potential that this thing has. That's number three. Capitaliz the market capitalization. It's unheard of to have it that high. Here's number four. Guys, look at this here. Shell shares held by institution zero. And we know why. It's a penny stock. A lot of them won't get involved in penny stocks. But trust me. So that basically tells you that all of the movement that we're seeing right now in humble pay is from retail investors. That's great. It's forming a consol it's consolidating at a at a certain level here. So that means it's going to take off from here on the backs of retail investors. What do you think is going to happen when when Humble Pay is no longer a penny stock? When it gets above five dollars, remember penny stocks five dollars and below it gets above five bucks. What do you think is going to happen with those institutional investors? They're going to start piling in. And when they start piling in, what do you think is going to happen to the price of this stock? You know, if we get up to five, five dollars a share. First of all, all of us that were in it at one thirty, we're happy as all get out. But think about it. Once the institutional investors catch wind of this, once it's outside of that five dollars or above five bucks and they catch wind of this, what do you think is going to happen to that price of the stock? I'm telling you right now, I believe, in my humble opinion, that by the end of the year, we're looking at a 5 to a 10x increase when it comes to this stock. I hope this information was useful to you. I just want to leave you guys with three things. Number one, save. If you're saving, continue. If you're not saving, you need to start. Number two, you need to invest. That basically means put your money to work. And number three, apply what you know. Because knowledge is not power. It's the application of knowledge that's power. See you guys in the next video. Guys, take care. Bye-bye.